down the thing, just push them down to there, and then he has a big piece of cloth. And you will see that I'm sewing the cloth. Some people call for the first time and to me this is marvelous. I look at it and this is the most interesting and beautiful thing I've ever seen. And besides, Sunny likes it. She just swallowed it up. Um, and the quilt goes on at the side to save the seam. Number seven, this is called Sissy Pan. Eight, you just meet the woman at the work end. You just meet the woman at the work end. Nine, this is at the sew time. Ten, you put it together. Eleven, this is the time you put it together. And twelve, you decide how much to sew. And finally, you put them down from the top and you need in between. The weight in between is Joseph and it's probably not the first time. We're going to see that in the following pattern. So here is the next pattern. Fourth pattern. Or the third pattern. You just have to look for the point of similarity. So here are some events that took place in four boxes. So you can learn about these if you look in the third box. First pattern here was printed in Mock 2014. We are done at this part near Galdrup. Galdrup is the place of the Dutch and the place of Macedonia. G O L G A P H M Galdrup. And the two followers of this pattern are actually the actress Christy Hall, Mary, and, and John. And we say that in our three o'clock prayer, which is the next bullet point. Jesus died at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is where we get the three o'clock prayer from with the disciple whom you love, that's St. John, and then Mary is also present at this, at this moment of his death. Moving on. So I said earlier that Joseph of Arimathea, Joseph of Arimathea is your first blank here. Arimathea is spelled A-R-I-M-A-T-H-E-A. -A. He requested the body of Jesus and gave up his tomb for Jesus, uh, for Jesus to, to lay. Also, um, this is not in the notes, but just so you know, another prominent Jewish leader, his name is Nicodemus. You've probably heard of him. Um, he brought the spices for the burial of, of Jesus. Um, he was a very wealthy Jewish leader, and um, he believed in Jesus. So he secretly came and he donated, so to speak, the spices, about 75 pounds of spices to um, when the body is wrapped. Back then, as we've talked about in class already, they used to wrap the bodies um, in, in a shroud and, and they would place um, spices on the body. And um, this was a typical way to bury the dead. So then he was placed in the tomb and Good Friday is the day that we commemorate the death of Jesus. The reason we say good, it's because it's the salvation for humanity, the restoration of, of humanity with God, the restoration of our relationship with God through Jesus. Moving on. Um, chapter 12, we're going to do in another set. So this concludes chapter 11. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or let me know. I will be happy to help you um, complete all of your tasks for this week.